If there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts. Oh shit. Let me guess. Oh. His ship is here. Oh, Sigurd's here. Cool. Some more hunter arrows. Ammo's full. I do also know that we have to hunt for, uh, for basically for bucks to get their horns for our mission, but we will probably come across this eventually. Let's hop through the window because the front door is too boring. A brutal fate. Torn to pieces by wolves. None remain on this island. I should leave this place. Oh, there we go. We have another carbon ingot, and we basically picked up everything clean other than this area over here. And then this area up here, but this area over here in terms of Riga Vulka, we basically got everything. So let's what's it called? Let's go ahead and fast travel over to Hornberg again and continue on the uh, the mission. So we've got some stuff to do. I hope you guys, like I said, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful week so far. And I hope you guys have been having a wonderful couple of weeks. Because normally I don't really like sit down and bond with you guys when it comes to the uh, whole, you know, shenanigans and chaos when it comes to Castle Crashers. But now that it's just, you know, you and then me, let's bond. Are you sitting comfortably? Have you eaten anything recently? Making sure you're staying well hydrated? I hope that uh, basically every goal that you make so far has been come to fruition. Whether that's learning a new skill, whether that's your uh, your college or your like your high school, whichever that whichever goal you may have in life, I hope that it comes to fruition. I hope that actually becomes a success for you. Because honestly, you you deserve it. Anyway, hey, Ron V. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead. So the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. Thank you, Ranvi. Um, given we basically did everything, I think I'll see I'm him now. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. So let's Excellent. see how this goes. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... Hello, King Sturbjorn. May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Uh, hello, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not, not mock slightest. you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Wow, fighting words there. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Mm. We have no allies who can negotiate with brutes. Your diplomacy is cowardice. I'm not saying that diplomacy is cowardice because diplomacy is like a lot of people say that the pen is mightier than the sword. And I'm not saying that they are brutes. So I'm basically going to ask, do we have no allies? Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. <laughs> Your father was a fine man, just and loyal to me, 
He died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Mm. Why do you carry such a useless burden? I mean... Go. Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. So I, I understand Eivor. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts. Oh shit. Let me guess. Oh. Oh, Sigurd's here. Cool. But as I was going to uh as I was gonna go say about that, I understand um Eivor's own thoughts in terms of like seeing his father as a coward. Given the fact that basically his father died not by fighting, but basically giving up to protect his clan. But I can also see the merit in what Stirbjorn is saying in terms of um, basically his father ensuring that the clan will live instead of basically dying as it would otherwise. So I can understand both sides of the whole, you know, of the whole thing. So let's... Head over to uh to head over to the docks and actually see what uh, Sigurd's doing. What's up, Ronvi? Several new season release with 50 opals to get a head start at Rita's shop. Uh, that's just other stuff that hasn't been unlocked yet, as far as I'm aware. <sighs> oh, Sigurd. Hey, hey, careful with that one. <clears throat> hey, bud. See good. <laughs> oh, look at you, blood soaked drinker. What have you been worrying without me? Oh, and you, salt cured Vikinga. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. Just to start. Rati, I love this. My dear wife, I love the brotherly. Bringing gifts. I, I, I love the, the like friends, brothership. I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagard, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. Oh, hey, Basim. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us a oh, no, I got all the, the extra like things. Man. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyotre from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. Hmm. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away... No, I was away I'm for two years. Very well, very well. Come inside. Well, we haven't and seen Sigurd in two years, then. Father, we will talk of Kyrte and his clan, and how we may end their terror. Once and for all, he has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. Yeah, so it seems as uh, King Sturbjorn just doesn't want to listen. Through Rusland, we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went. Oh, Rusland. Shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard... We saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa. 
past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn, for this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. Oh, okay. Uh, but there are seemingly others to speak to, so let's do that. Let's speak to, uh, is it Basim? You are Basim. Yes, you have Basim. A good memory. And you have no meat. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated Accurate. warrior. I am honored to meet you. Mm, thank you, Likewise, Basim. Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago. To rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. <laughs> Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. Yeah, that sounds about right. I bore you with the details of our meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. Yeah, enjoy your evening, my friend. Uh, let's speak to Ranvi next, then. The hell are you guys... Oh, they're arm wrestling. Oh, wait, there's also his uh, friend. What was it? Hazim? <clears throat> Haitham, Haitham. Is it? Yes, and you are Eivor. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes. But the warmth is welcome. <laughs> of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week. But always I am with my mentor. Basim. Your mentor? Mm -hmm. For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> but if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's mead. <laughs> ah. Thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. We are like above, like above the, the whole game. We know what, what they really are given their, uh, their outfit. It's not really hard to uh, to not see that. Hey, Ranvi. Eivor, have you paid a visit to Volka? Yes, we have. I did. And? It is not something I can speak on or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight with your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. That's true. Are you not happy to see your husband returned? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married, and he has been away for two. Mm. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. <laughs> and it uh, sounds like any relationship. All be so lucky. <laughs> sounds like about any relationship, because it's the same way with me and my girlfriend as well. Like, my girlfriend, in the beginning, she's very cold. Then she becomes really, really warm. And then I'm like, fuck, I don't have enough space to just lay comfortably. <laughs> So that's a mood. Sigurd has raised the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. Oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornberg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. Mm -hmm. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time. It sounds Before like... You talk like a man with one foot in Helheim. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Or will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do. But it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it, my king, it will be done. You have my axe until the end. Hmm. We shall see. It sounds like the Sturbjorn king has a lot of doubts when it comes to us. Like, a lot and a lot of doubts. Anyway. Have we spoken to everyone? I believe so. Okay, Sigurd, what you got for me? 
I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. What did you get, you me, buddy? You've my curiosity, brother. What is it? Is it a new yet. weapon? Drinks first. Oh, drinks first. To my first night in Thornburg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringur. Now drink. Okay, I'll drink. Man just wants to become drunk. <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. You make everything a challenge. The gun easy on you. You make it. You make everything. From drinking a challenge. to breathing, you turn everything into a competition, brother. I must always be prepared. <laughs> True enough. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a heart longing to return at once. I don't blame you. Like, family is very important. To me as well. Family is like one of the most important things ever. It's that reason that I actually have a tattoo on my uh, right forearm. To your gift. That basically says uh, family in Chinese. These were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan, not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. Mm -hmm. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... He wants, he wants us to learn those secrets I too. one of these secrets... To you. Yeah, hidden blade, Weapon baby. Nice. Nice. <laughs> now I can assassinate people. Welcome to Assassin's Creed. I mean, it looks like a thing of beauty. Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice. And evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. Do not tool. make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. That's true. Please, try it on. Now we have a what's called? Now blade we have a hidden blade. on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this. And I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. <laughs> Damn. I like it. He made he fucking it's flipped no it. Mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to A you. good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. I do love that A4 is Lead more on. unorthodox when it comes to using the hidden blade. So like instead of using it underhanded. He used it above hand so people can basically, you know, so people can see it, but it doesn't take away his fingers. That is actually something very nice in terms of, like, touch. That is something that I do appreciate. It has a name? Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here. Let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Okay. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. I need to do this one. Yeet. Nicely done. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. So keep that in mind before you strike. Take that one down from the ledge. Take that one down from the ledge. <laughs> ah, he's talking about that one. A perfect strike. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. 
No. That's fine with me, buddy. Let's do it. Let's leap down and kill him. That's it. There we go. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. There we go. He's basically teaching us the uh, the assassin, the assassin's way of doing it, and then probably Mentor, like from here. Does anyone intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer him the blade? Surely we have more Python. Hush. Exactly, just like that. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Yeah, basically, what they're saying is we can stealth attack like this, but because he has like a higher level, can't kill him in one shot. You need a specific what's called for that. Thank you for honoring us with your presence. I hope you enjoyed the saga and the mead. If you have, make sure to raise your thumb and like the video. If you wish for more daily sagas, make sure to subscribe and join the Skulls of Sagas. You can also join the other Skulls of Sagas by joining our Discord. And hit that bell notification to know when a new video goes up. Until next time, Shams, my brothers.